Right, so let's say that you have a product, you're selling it, but you're not, your sales just aren't quite where they want to be. Now, this marketing tip, I don't want to say hack, is really going to level up your sales because people are going to associate with your product on a next level. They're going to associate with your brand so much more, so they're going to be buying everything from you if you actually implement this tip that I'm going to share. And all it is, is relating your product, your offer to an identity that your target market wants to embody, okay? Now that might seem a bit technical or a bit all over the place. However, I'll use an example, okay? So there are only a very small percentage of people who are very poor, who buy food, who actually select food just for this role of satisfying hunger, okay? Most people who have more disposable income will buy the food based upon what role they want to embody, okay? Now, if someone wants to seem youthful and healthy, they will buy the organic stuff. They will buy the, I don't know, all the fruits and the salads, etc., all that sort of stuff. Whereas people who don't have that can't, can't, don't have that income, can't make that decision. Another example would be how people who want to seem adventurous and exotic will buy the more exotic foreign foods. They will buy all this stuff that most of us don't even know of because they want to seem adventurous, sophisticated, okay? And people, when they find a role that they like, that they want to embody, all of their purchases will go there. They will buy the more exotic clothes, cars, technology, like they will be more out there. Whereas if you want to be more sophisticated, uh, not sophisticated, like youthful, you will buy the younger style of clothes. You will buy the up-to-date technology. Okay, so it's so important to think about the roles that your target market wants to embody and then think, right, how can my product fulfill that? Okay, another example is if you like a man who wants to seem well read and intelligent, he will buy a book on philosophy so that he can seem to others well read and intelligent. Okay, now that product fulfills that. Reading that book, it will make you more well-read, it will make you more intelligent, okay? But there are some products where it's not the physical product that actually contributes to that role. It's just a case of that product contributing to building that role, if that makes sense. Now, I'll use the book example again. So you might be selling a shelf. A shelf can hold all of his books. So if you frame your shelf as an, an ornament to hold all of his philosophy books, his encyclopedias, then the man who wants to seem more well-read and more intelligent will buy that shelf because you are using it in your marketing, you are identifying that role that he wants to become and then linking your product to that role, okay? So have a think about these roles. A lot of them come down to people want to be more charming, charismatic, youthful, they want to seem like they've got more status, okay? Think about how your offer will actually relate to this and then make that connection in your marketing and it's really gonna just change the way that you look at marketing. It's gonna change the way that people look at your brand when you're not just a, oh, just get fit with me or you're not just a, oh, here's how to make money. When you link the role that they want to become to your offer, they identify with that and like I said, People will buy all of their stuff. Everything they spend money on will be to identify with that role. Even look at your own life. What you will see, sorry, from your books, the books that you read, the clothes that you wear, the apartment that you live in, the shoes that you have, they will all be in line with certain roles that you want to embody, that you relate with most, okay? Reverse engineer this. Reverse engineer what your target market, what they want, in terms of their roles, what are they currently spending on? What type of foods are they buying? What clothes are they buying? What cars do they have? What technology do they use? And then you can identify quickly the roles that they want to have in their life. And all you do is you, you just link that role to your offer, okay? So implement this. I understand it's, it's not an easy concept to grasp, but if you have any questions, just drop me a message on Instagram. I'll leave the link below. I hope this has helped. If you want more advertising or like marketing stuff, then leave a comment as well. And I'll start to do more videos like this. So 
Hope you're well, hope you're feeling grateful, and I'll see you tomorrow.